All right, well, Coach, make an opening statement. Well, very, very excited to be here today to represent the Sun Devil Nation. Uh, it's uh, been an exciting time, uh, obviously, for me and my staff. Very, very excited to be here with these uh, two fine young men right here to my left. Uh, it's been um, a very, very uh, honor for me uh, to, uh, to be at a place that uh, Frank Cush built. And for all of our, uh, you know, the, the great players that we've had in the past, it's been a great time of coming together, had an opportunity to, to really uh, be out in the community and uh, you know, meet our former players, uh, been uh, obviously on campus with our students. Uh, we've got the, uh, what, what, a, what a great situation we have there with one of the most incredible student sections uh, in the country. And uh, we're very, very excited about this, this season. Uh, one of the things that uh, it's been a uh, fast and furious since December, uh, and I want to first uh, start off and, and talk about these players sitting here to my left. Uh, you know, even though we have known each other a very short period of time, you know, I think it's been a, a time of uh, uh, extreme probably change and strain. And uh, I've been so impressed uh, with the character and the work ethic uh, of Cam and of Brandon. And they represent, they're here today representing a team that is, uh, that is coming together, uh, that has worked extremely hard. Uh, we, uh, we're very, very fortunate in the recruiting process, and I think we've really uh, helped ourselves. I think you'll be, be uh, pleasantly surprised with some of the guys that, uh, that we've uh, brought in, as well as, I think, uh, uh, spring ball uh, was something uh, that was uh, uh, fairly interesting for these guys. Uh, but uh, uh, we, we developed a great work ethic, and I believe in training. Uh, and our guys have trained extremely hard this summer. Uh, and, and they put themselves in a position to be successful. So we're looking forward to uh, uh, this season, uh, our program. Uh, we're very, very proud to be here and to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, have the goal and the expectation of restoring this program to winning championships. Uh, we have uh, won, uh, you know, Pac-10 championships, and we've won Rose Bowls. We've won a Rose Bowl at, uh, at, at Arizona State University. And, uh, you know, that's what our program is going to be about. It's going to be about winning championships. And uh, I've got a great belief uh, in this team, uh, I've got a great belief in my staff, and very, very fortunate to surround myself with great people, uh, and uh, and we're excited. We're excited for our for our fans. We're excited for this season. Uh, we've got a great uh, challenge ahead of us. I've got tremendous respect for this great conference uh, that 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 we're in. I can tell you that it's uh, after looking at the film and, and watching film, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's it's underrated because it's a tremendous conference. A very very dynamic, very unique, a lot of innovation. And I think it's it's only going to get better. So uh, we're very very excited to be here and represent ASU today. We'll go ahead and take questions. In the back center. Sarah Cazell, Pac-12 Digital. This question is for you, Brandon. Um, we've been collecting fan questions from Facebook and Twitter, and Jesse Oates from Facebook wants to know, how will your play this season be affected by the fact that you were drafted by the Red Sox? Will you be more conservative or not because of it? Uh, no, uh, I won't be conservative at all. You know, I don't hold anything back when I get on the field, so especially with this new defensive style, you know, we plan on blitzing a lot and uh, really attacking the opposing offenses, so, you know, I'm not holding anything back, and, uh, my teammates won't either. We'll stay in the center in the back. Uh, this is also for Brandon McGee. Uh, How did your appearance go on uh, Sports Talk Radio a couple of weeks ago, and did it reaffirm your desire to enter into the sports media when your playing days are over? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a great time at the radio station. Um, hopefully I'll do it again soon. But, yeah, after my sporting career, I would love to be involved in media or on TV or doing something because this is very exciting to me, and uh, it's fun to do. So, you know, I enjoyed it. Down here on the left, at the end. Hi, Tom Fitzgerald, San Francisco Chronicle. A uh, question for both players. Uh, Cameron, I'm not sure how much of the spring uh, you got because of your ankle. I guess you had a problem coming, coming back from surgery there. But for Brandon and Cameron, uh, how, were, how were the spring practices different under this uh, coaching staff than they were uh, under the former one? Uh, I got a chance to uh, practice for one week, so uh, I got a chance to experience it a little bit, and uh, it's it's fast. It's a lot. It's a lot faster than anything we've we've uh, that we've experienced before at Arizona State. Uh, at least me personally. Um, 
uh, it was a lot more organized. We, every uh, every period was uh, we had guys doing something. We didn't really have any downtime. Um, everything everything was just really explosive. It was uh, it was a lot of a lot of competition and practice throughout the whole practice and uh, a lot of situational stuff. We worked, you know, we worked every possible situation in the spring. I think we're going to continue to do that in the uh, in the fall as well. I mean, overtime, you know, a couple seconds left. Uh, you know, you got to put together a full drive from the from you know the, your own one. Any 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 type every any type of situation, we are worked in practice, which is something that I that I enjoyed. I think we're going to be prepared, come anything uh, when the game comes. Uh, with me, I was I was still out spring ball because of my injury, but uh, from observing from the sideline, man, I mean, you sprint on and off the field, high tempo, high energy. It was uh, very exciting for me to see. It uh, it seems like it's going to get us ready as players for the NFL. Because, you know, everything in the NFL is so, so much faster than, you know, college football. And uh, the coaches out there, man, they get after you just as, uh, just as much as we do. Coach Graham will tell you, he gets on every coach if they're not doing their job right. So it's long with the players. So uh, to have coaches involved like that is very exciting. So I look forward to this summer. Front row on the right. Doug Haller with the Arizona Republic. Uh, Cam, you missed a lot of the spring uh, with with an injury. Can you just update us on uh, how you're feeling and if you expect to enter camp 100%? Yeah, I feel I feel great right now. I mean, I've been running around uh, doing all the drills and uh, and all the workouts. So uh, yeah, I'll, when I enter camp, I'll be 100%. Um, it's the best I've felt in you know a year and a half. Um, best my ankles felt in a while. So uh, so I'm look I'm looking forward to the camp and to this upcoming season. We'll stay on the right, on the far end. Kenny Sarge at MAV TV and Coach Graham, what's been the toughest for you to implement your system from the earlier system with Erickson with uh, 2012? I think the toughest thing is just being patient. And, and uh, one of the things that, I've, you, know, you, you know, as you get experience, you, you learn. And, and just learning that uh, the key is getting good at something and not trying to do too much. And sometimes when you, you, you know, I know when I was uh, – you know, um, at, at Tulsa, we're going in our fourth year, you know, is it, a lot different than your first year. So it's it, important to, I think the toughest thing is just to be patient, not try to do too much. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, uh, you, you know, I, I have a lot of confidence in, in the players that we have uh, and, the, and the staff we have. We've gotten a lot of things uh, taught and, and, and instilled in them. Uh, they definitely have embraced our way of doing things. And these guys are, are trained. I think they would probably tell you they're in the best shape of their life. Uh, and our program is all about training, um, and I think we positioned ourselves uh, uh, where it's exciting and obviously embracing the no huddle. But I'll tell you what helped us uh, a lot schematically is, is uh, you know, offensively, uh, there's some similarities, uh, but there's some very, very uh, dramatic differences in that, uh, um, you know, our offense last year you know, threw for a lot of yards and obviously put up a lot of numbers. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're different, and I think we're really, uh, you know, the guy sitting to my left here is really going to benefit as uh, we're a downhill power inside zone team. And uh, Cam is as good as I've, I've been around in, in, all, in my entire career and watching him and how he's adapted. And then we've worked very, very hard. Probably the biggest challenge is making sure that we don't just take and just run a scheme, that the scheme fits the skills and talents of our players, and especially our best players. So that's probably been the biggest challenge, just to be patient and then make sure that we've been being adapted to this, to schematically to what uh, uh, the skills and talents of what our guys can do. And, and I, I'm impressed. I've been very, very impressed with our players. I can tell you that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we do have talent. And the key is is to uh, embrace the 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 um, the discipline, uh, the, um, uh, the and be able to execute our system. So uh, uh, you know, probably patience and, and and trying to be adaptive. But there's a lot of similarities too. There's it's not like it's a you know going from night and day offensively. I think the biggest challenge for us is defensively, going from a four three you know cover four team uh, to being a pressure oriented hybrid. We're a hybrid type defense where we'll be in four man front and three man front. So uh, th that's probably been the biggest challenge is just making sure we don't try to do too much. And the key for us is take care of the football. And that if we do that, then I, and especially early in the season is have success early. Uh, I believe in these guys. I've got a great confidence in, in this football team. Next questions in the center. Rashawn Haylock, Fox Sports West. This is for Cam and Brandon. Uh, Coach Graham has talked a lot about discipline. How much was that needed within the team after what happened during the second half last season? A and also, what have you guys heard about Camp T? Um, I think discipline is 
probably the thing we needed the most, especially with the last half of the season. I mean, we kind of fell apart last year. Um, just little things, I guess, was, was probably our biggest problem last year. We were always, you know, really close and in a lot of ways. So, I mean, I think co with Coach Graham and him implementing this, uh, you know, di discipline and everything that we do and accountability really uh, – <clears throat> Is uh we'll, we'll eliminate some of those uh a lot of those mental mistakes. I mean we've been you know one of the worst teams in the nation for the past three years in terms of uh getting penalties and and that's just unacceptable and, and the coach has uh, stressed how unacceptable that is and how he won't tolerate you know any penalties. So uh, I think that'll uh, that'll just that'll help us out a ton. I mean b to uh, reaching the potential that we actually have as a football team. And as far as your other uh, question about Camp T, I've heard I've heard a lot of things about Camp T. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess it kind of depends on who you ask. I heard different things from players versus you know versus fans or coaches that have been up there. Um, they said you'll love it and hate it at the same time. So uh, I guess I'm looking forward to making my own uh, developing my own opinion about Camp T. Uh, like Cam said, you know, he touched base on all the disciplinary things, but uh, Camp T, you know, uh, as a team, I think we're all excited to go back and it's bringing the tradition back to Arizona State. And if you look back, you know, our record's been pretty good with uh, going up to their Camp T. So, you know, bring that back this season. And uh, just, it seems like we're just starting off fresh going back to Camp T. So, uh, me, I'm, I'm excited to go. Good time to bomb with your teammates and uh, get away from the real world for a little bit. Question in the back row in the center. Todd Craig Morgan from CBS Sports and Fox Sports Arizona. Um, when do you expect to whittle this quarterback race down to two guys at least that you had talked about maybe in a rotation? Quickly, you know, uh, we're a lot further along than, than obviously than uh, than we've uh, we've got a pretty good idea of what direction we're going, but uh, uh, there's still some competition left, and uh, it's not that we have uh, three guys that haven't done anything to separate themselves. Uh, we've just got three really really quality guys. You know, uh, uh, it's great to inherit that type of situation. Uh, the key for us is, is too. The longer it goes without naming a starter, I don't like that. I, I like to. As soon as we can do that, we need to do it because it it settles everything down. You need a you need a leader. You need a quarterback. Uh, uh, not to say that we wouldn't use two guys, uh, but uh, uh, you know I I do believe in, in uh, uh, th that that leadership at that position is very very uh, important. Uh, the key for us is to making sure that uh, in this first season, uh, especially early in the season, it's going to be very critical that the person taking that snap not necessarily has to be the most dynamic player. They did have to be a player that manages the offense, that doesn't put the ball in jeopardy and doesn't turn the football over. Because I firmly believe uh, if we don't turn the football over, we're going to score because uh, we've got some really quality players. Uh, we've got guys that have picked up. And, the, and, and the, just the transition from the scheme they ran last year to this one has been one that has gone – smoother than I even anticipated. So, because uh, there's a lot of, there's similar similarities, uh, but uh, I think uh, we've been very fortunate to inherit guys that really fit what we want to try to do. So, uh, we'll look forward to, uh, you know, coming out of Camp T, we need to have a leader. We need to have a quarterback named. And, and on Camp T, I want to comment on that. It, I would describe Camp T as rustic. But uh, one of the things that, that I believe in is, uh, uh, I, think, I think I love the, the history and the heritage of college football, and it's one of the great traditions that are unique to Arizona State University. And that was, uh, you know, going out and talking to our players, talking to our fans, far and away, that is the tradition there. And then you look at this, the age of the iPad, iPod, I, all that stuff, you know, we're not going to have any of that. Uh, you know, we go up there and actually our cell phones don't work. What a, what a great blessing that'll be for me for about four days that my cell phone doesn't work. But uh, uh, it, it's, uh, it's really a, a unique situation and I like that. I like the idea of us going up and, and roughing it uh, in the day of, we have so many luxuries. You know, we stay in the nicest hotels. Uh, uh, it's, ab you know, it's, you know, it's absolutely amazing, you know, uh, uh, the luxuries that we have. So we're excited about restoring that tradition and that's something that I hope will always be a part of uh, ASU tradition and, and heritage in the future. Next question's right in the center. Todd, what's a junior on ALE status? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's done a great job. I have tremendous respect uh, for what he's, uh, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we, um, 
He's had a long road to hoe, and uh, I'm very, very impressed with uh, he's done everything that we've asked him to do in his plan of improvement. Uh, and that's something I'm very proud of. You know, we have not, uh, you know, I'm not one of those guys that every time we lose a player, I, I consider that, a, a, you know, a, a failure on, on our part. And uh, uh, when I walked in the very first day with these guys, I told them that, uh, you know, I recruited every one of them. Uh, that uh, when I took the job, they become my players, and uh, I was committed to them. And, uh, uh, you know, we haven't, you know, I think we've lost, uh, you know, five or six players, uh, and that's, that, that's uh, something that it's five or six too, too many, but, but uh, obviously uh, it was their choice. And in this, this situation, uh, we, we gave him a very difficult uh, plan of improvement to, to, to go through. He's done everything. He was a 3.0 student this spring. Uh, very, very impressed uh, by that, and uh, I'm excited, and uh, uh, he's got a few more little checks to make uh, here this last part of this month, but I expect him to report with our team uh, on the uh, second. Any further questions? All right, that'll do it. Gentlemen, thank you very much.